little goats love my moccasins. They love to untie my shoes and try to trip me. Guys, I feed you. You trying to make your mama trip and fall? Yeah? So now we just like the salty taste of the leather. I know. I know you do. All right, y'all. It is officially the day before our next show. So we are going to be at the Howl at the Moon show. It is ABGA sanctioned and it is up in Danville, Indiana, which is not that far outside of Indianapolis. And I've got my best girl, Willow. Last girl to get shaved. Of course, I'm a procrastinator, so why not shave a doe the day before show? Because, you know, that's not gonna stress her out or anything. But life has been crazy. Oh boy, I'm not that hairy. That's, that's why I was here. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up shaving willow and then i will see you all bright and early tomorrow morning while we are loading up at like 4 a.m to get to the show are you ready you ready for show now she wants to eat her food i guess you camera shy <laughs> okay so it is 4.56, we've been up since four, kind of feeding, getting everybody where they need to be. The trailer's loaded, the goats are loaded. We're pretty much, well, we're kind of awake. But we're getting ready to head, head out to Danville. It's about a two hour drive. So we wanted to be out of here by like five-ish because check-ins in at 7.30. And we're just, we love to come and like at the last minute. <laughs> so this will give us like a half hour of wiggle room. Usually this early in the morning, we don't hit traffic. We don't hit anything like that. And I have people there that I could send a message to be like, check me in. We're on our way, we're just running a little late. So, all right guys, let's get everything loaded and let's get to the show. daughter from this year you guys saw her being born and if you didn't I'm going to link that video up in the top because it was a wonderful birth she finally gave me a girl and dreamer actually got to go to this show too dreamer did pretty well but I find in junior shows you have judges that are just kind of all over the place you have a couple of animals that seem like they're pretty consistently placed but I did notice in juniors shows buck and doe that the, the placings were like all, they're all up and down because every judge is looking for something different in their juniors because there's no mammary really to go off of. You're looking at a young goat that isn't showing their full potential yet, nor are they all the way grown out and showing their best qualities. So what I'm getting at is Dreamer at the highest placed third place in her show. Mighty Mouse's highest placement was second place in ring two, which means she got to go into the champion lineup, even though she could never have won grand champion because she wasn't the first place doe. If the first place doe of her class won grand champion, then she could move up into their spot in the lineup and she could possibly win reserve grand champion. But that didn't happen for us, but you know what? That is okay. That's okay because these young girls are getting a lot of practice for when they do have a man Mary system. And Miss Queenie was at the bottom of her class every single time. But the good thing is she got a lot of experience and she learned to walk and my daughter got to show her and it was just so much fun. And I was just super proud of her. When those young babies walk in, march boards, things like that, sometimes they're not really used to being on the collar, but she picked it up really quick and I was super proud of her. Do you mind? We're trying to work here. <laughs> He's so pee pee. Stinky today. You stinky? <laughs> Next was the buck show. And during the buck show, I kind of had. Um, I had no expectations for them either, but when I was seeing how my bucks were behaving, Randy, as always, and uncooperative, I really was afraid that this was going to be a, a crazy show. And, you know, Love Bug, the first round in the pen, 
yeah in the first round in the ring he uh really put his worst hoof forward and the judge even commented he's like boy this guy is not letting you show him to his full potential which to me said that the judge liked what he saw but because the animal wasn't willing to oh stand up <laughs> walk you know do any of the normal functions was just kind of bristled up and crazy so lovebug did place fourth in that ring because he just didn't want to he didn't want to cooperate Flu was super consistent in all three rings he placed second, so he got to go into the champion lineup every single time. But then Lovebug really, really put his best hoof forward. I don't know if he just kind of figured it out or decided he didn't want to be at the bottom. He didn't want to be fourth out of four. He actually placed first in his class the next two rings and was reserve senior reserve champion Buck but didn't get um, reserve grand champion for that ring. They bring in the juniors and we had a really, really tough junior right behind us who was only about six months behind Lovebug and he was a full boy. He deserved that. I really wanted the rosette. I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm not gonna lie. I wanted the rosette for for um, Lovebug, but really when I look back at that junior, I'm like, he really did have the advantage of body capacity and smooth blending um, because you know, they do go through phases and Lovebug is in a little bit of that phase where he's not quite a, a young man but he's not like hubble 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 hunk yet he's he's kind of in he's kind of just straddling that line he's not either he's just kind of awkward looking with a wonderful top line and great feet okay didn't get to talk to you guys a whole lot yesterday because first days of show are crazy we're on day two at the phase five hoosier meet here in danville indiana but yesterday was really great. I'm gonna go over those placings here in just a minute. But before we do that, let's go ahead and let's go into the milking dough portion of the show. Mark, how you feel? A little tired. A little tired. Hanging in there. That was an early morning. <laughs> and can you guys believe it? This is Merida. Merida, at the beginning of the year, who didn't want me close to her, was biting my fingers and that was a huge accomplishment because she was even just approaching me. Merida went to her first show. I've been working so hard with her. I'm sorry guys that I have not been going through kind of like a progression with her because it was April, I started milking her for milk testing and it literally was running after her, cornering her, tackling her, dragging her to a milk stand to about two months ago, she started letting me approach her and putting a lead around her neck and walking her calmly. And then last month, as I was looking at her on the milk stand, because you get really used to looking at your does and you kind of start to be able to see the good qualities and Merida just really started to bloom in my opinion. So I started working with her on leading and stacking and just being really calm while people were putting their hands on her. And she did really good. So in her first ring, she was fifth out of five. The second ring, fourth out of five. And then in the third ring, she was third out of five. So she just, she just kept getting better and better, which to me says in that first ring, she was really scared and was probably walking hunched. And as she got um, progressively into going into lineups, she got a lot more comfortable and she relaxed and she put her best to forward. And then we had Willow. Willow was second place, first place, second place. And in the second ring, she took Grand Champion. <laughs> Me, there's a little bit of the scorecard says that we're doing all this to get the type of animal that's going to be in the line for the five. Uh, and I think when you got the prime example of what they're at the line, it's really not the five. It's just going to be as good as that for the line. She's got all the things we're looking for. It's just going to be like how to stand up, and long legs, and sharp shoulders, square feet and legs, kind of like we're ever going to be there. Everything is there in that group. She's proven that. She's a good one. Which is wonderful because now she's got two of her champion legs. For ADGA sanctioned shows, you can get a grand champion. And she got to go in with um, uh, the grand champion out of every other breed for that ring. So in ring two, she got to go in for best in show. She didn't get it. She um, really put her best foot forward. She looked great. The judge had nothing but positives to say about her, but the recorded grade in front of us was just a stunning animal. A stunning animal from the very top of its pole down to the down to its hooves. It was just a gorgeous animal. All right, y'all, we're back from the show. We're back from the show and I am just so ecstatic. You know, when I first came to you guys talking about what we were hoping to do, I know that I told Mark that 
I had high expectations, but I didn't have that high of expectations because sometimes I'm just like, if you don't have any expectations, you can't be disappointed. And um, I had no expectations. I was not disappointed. Grand champion, Willow got grand champion. I cannot believe it. But you guys can tell we're home. We're home, we made the, the trek, so you've got dirty show clothes. I am trying to kind of unpack my my trailer, and I came home with a little something extra. And I'm not talking about the rosette, y'all. You guys, there's so much happening on the farm and it's all goat related, and I cannot wait to bring you guys along with me. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed watching us go to our show, the Howl at the Moon um, Dairy Goat Show up in Danville, Indiana. We had a blast. We got great feedback on our animals. We came home with a rosette. <laughs> and Willa got her second leg for her permanent championship, which is super de duper awesome. But in the meantime, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and let you go. Thank you so much for spending your time with us here on Mulberry Range Farm. I hope that you are all staying safe out there and being kind to one another. We will catch you all in the next one. God bless you. Bye, y'all.